freedom of faith and of conscience, freedom to profess a religious or philosophical creed shall be inviolable. That's Article 4 of the German Basic Law, guaranteeing freedom of religion. But how much of a big deal is religion in Germany these days? First of all, let's look at the stats. 55% of the population is Christian, around 5% Muslim, and less than 1% Jewish, Hindu or Buddhist. Around a third of the German population claims no religious affiliation. Within Christianity, it can be broken down as follows. 23 million Catholics, 21 million Protestants, and around 2.5 million other Christian denominations. The church is often referred to as one entity, but there are marked differences between Catholics and Protestants in Germany, not least of all geographically. Was könnte diese Karte zeigen? Das könnte irgendwas mit Corona zu tun haben. Keine Ahnung. Seit die einzelnen Bundesländer nehme ich an, ne? Oh, keine Ahnung. The green shows mostly Catholic areas, blue mostly Protestant, and red mostly atheist or no religious affiliation. This map is based on the last German census in 2011, but the pattern remains today. In states in the former East, three quarters of the population is not religious, which has a lot to do with the region's history. Attempts at secularization during the Weimar Republic were felt particularly strongly in certain eastern states. And after World War II, aggressively anti-church government policies in the German Democratic Republic meant religion fell even more out of favor. Catholicism in Germany goes all the way back to the Roman Empire, which incidentally only included parts of Western Germany. You can see the country's Catholic past in its imposing cathedrals, like this one here in Cologne and others in Trier, Regensburg, Munich or Aachen, the resting place of Charles the Great. A turning point in Germany's religious history came in the 16th century, the Protestant Reformation. I knew absolutely nothing about Martin Luther before I arrived in Germany, but I've certainly heard a lot about him since. The priest published 95 theses criticizing aspects of the Catholic Church and detailing what he saw as its abuses of power. Luther was excommunicated and went into hiding at Wartburg Castle, where he kept himself busy translating the Bible into German from ancient Greek and Hebrew. The Reformation movement diversified and spread across Europe. An important linguistic note, the German word evangelisch is by no means the same as the English evangelical. In Germany, the term is more broadly Protestant, including Lutherans and Calvinists. These days, congregations in both confessions are dwindling. Some 300,000 Germans leave the church every year. Some reasons include the church tax, which I'll come back to later, and reports of sexual abuse that have emerged over the last decade, stemming predominantly, but not exclusively, from the Catholic Church. Less than 10% of Catholics and only 3% of Protestants actually go to church regularly. So some churches here are getting creative to keep their doors open. Die Kulturkirche ist ein Projekt, das die evangelische Kirchengemeinde im Jahr 2002 äh, aufgesetzt hat. Es gibt Kabarett und Comedy, aber vor allen Dingen eben auch Musik. Sie bietet auf jeden Fall erstmal eine Höhe nach oben, 15 Meter sind das, glaube ich, bis zur Decke. Das macht schon was und auch die Architektur, die ja doch preußisch geprägt ist, die macht auch das ihre. Ist es ein Problem, dass immer weniger Leute in Deutschland in die Kirche gehen? Der Protestant an sich ist sowieso jemand, der nicht jeden Sonntag in die Kirche geht. So, und äh, trotzdem hält er sich zu seiner Kirche. Deswegen ist das auch gar nicht so ungewöhnlich, dass die Kirchen jetzt nicht so rasend voll sind. Was würde Deutschland verlieren, wenn die Kirche nicht mehr da wäre? Ich glaube, unsere Gesellschaft würde etwas verlieren. Ein Ort, wo Menschen zusammenkommen können, ohne dass sie zu irgendetwas gezwungen werden. Und es würde natürlich auch eine Stimme der kritischen Reflexion fehlen. Theoretically, there's a separation of church and state in Germany. But I must say, to me, as a non-religious newcomer, it doesn't always seem that way. The governing party even has the word Christian in its name, the Christian Democratic Union. The church also receives yearly payments from the state as part of a 200-year-old agreement. In 2020, that amounted to 570 million euros. And it's not just politics. The church feels very present in many aspects of daily life here. Public holidays are almost always based around the church calendar, like Christmas, Pentecost, or Saints' Day or Reformation Day, although these vary by region. The rule about keeping businesses closed on Sundays has its roots in Christianity, and any move to relax this law in recent years has been vehemently opposed by the church. The church owns a great deal of property, land, stocks, and even the odd brewery. It does a lot of charity work, and it runs schools, nurseries and hospitals too. At many schools in Germany, pupils attend either Catholic or Protestant religion classes, although at state-run schools, parents can opt their children out. One area that has drawn criticism is the church's exemption from certain labour laws. For example, even institutions that are entirely funded by taxpayers' money, but are run by the church, can require employees to be Christian or forbid them from striking. 
Catholic hospitals can ban their staff from performing or providing information about abortions, or giving out the morning after pill. After the state, the church is the second largest employer in Germany, which means that having a religious confession can end up being an important consideration for job prospects, particularly in certain professions like medicine or education. Anyone working for the Catholic Church might end up being fired for leaving the church, getting a divorce, or coming out as gay. Then there's the part that probably surprised me the most when I arrived here, church tax. If you're officially registered as a member of either church, you'll pay church tax. It's processed by the government's finance department and passed on to the relevant church in your area. All officially recognised religions have the right to collect tax in this way, but not all do, and the vast majority goes to the two main Christian churches. In 2019, they received 11 billion euros this way. But what if you don't want to pay? Well, you can leave the church after a little bit of official paperwork, but this will affect your right in the future to work for the church, have your children baptised, be godparent to someone else's child, or get married in the church. So what do people here think? Does the church have too much influence over public life in Germany? No. Das ist jedem selbst überlassen, wie er den Einfluss zulässt oder auch nicht. Ich bin selbst Agnostiker, ich lasse ihn gar nicht zu. In manchen Fällen sage ich ja, zum Beispiel wie, dass mal sonntags die Geschäfte zu haben. Da finde ich ganz klar, dass man den Staat und die Religion trennen muss. Weiß ich nicht und ich glaube, also wenn, würde ich sagen, dass sie nicht ihre Macht so nutzt, wie sie sie nutzen sollte. Man sieht ja, dass die Politik sich nicht beeinflussen lässt, außer von der Wirtschaft. Und die Kirche versucht sich auch meiner Meinung nach rauszuhalten, überwiegend. Als Lehrerin würde ich sagen, ja, alles was mit Feiertagen zu tun hat und wann wir frei haben oder nicht, spielt das noch auf jeden Fall eine Rolle. Aber so den Alltag persönlich merke ich das jetzt einfach. Viele Aufgaben, die sonst der Staat, die Gesellschaft übernehmen müsste, übernimmt jetzt äh, Kirche. Caritas, alle Institutionen, die, die damit zu tun haben, Kindergärten, die würden ohne Kirchen hier in Deutschland nicht funktionieren. Die kriegen vom Staat so viel Geld und dafür machen sie für die Deutschen ein bisschen wenig, aber sie tun auch viel auf der Welt. Also man unterstützt die dritte Welt und so weiter und so fort. Das darf man auch nicht vergessen. Please let me know what you think below. And if you've got any more questions, post them in the comments too.